This is Luke reporting for Pleasance TV at one of the most exciting and exhilarating events of the Fringe 2011. We have comedians, we have professional wrestlers, and one wrestling ring. This could only mean one thing, carnage. There may be scenes disturbing for younger viewers. So what on earth is all this about? I don't think anyone knows. No. I don't think anyone knows. Tonight I'm wrestling a guy called Mark Haskins. He's been all around the world and it's my job to teach him that it doesn't get any harder than it does here in the UK. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. People might die. How big are your muscles in girth? I've never measured them, but they're about this big. I'm managing a team, perhaps the most posh, well-bred team on the uh, dais today. Are you going to win? Absolutely, I guarantee it. My lawyers have guaranteed it. If you were going to die, what would your last words be? Oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. What's your special move? This isn't lit. I'm a manager, so my move is to get someone to do things for me. Describe what's on your arm for the camera. Uh, on my arm is the symbol of my character, the vinyl solution, a Nazi super soldier frozen in time and reawoken in the 1970s at the height of the soul funk explosion. My weapon, right here in my hands, the vinyl. It is prophesied that we will be victorious. Yeah! So he's got a bit of the old Nazi ideology, but he really loves James Brown. We will defeat them. I believe I saw Loki, the trickster in the crowd, doing like gay magic stuff. Not good magic, gay magic. I found when I went on stage, I just became this weird sexual demon who is prepared to do anything to win the fight. I don't mean gay magic, you don't mean bad magic. I'm nothing against gay men, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't. Let's not spread this rumour, I don't, nothing, you know, just saying, you know, pansy magic as opposed to a man with a hammer, which is very male. My spine's not well, there, there is a curve there, it's sort of like a particularly quizzical question mark. Will this affect your performance? Well, almost certainly yes. It's a physical sport and I've got that much less physique to go on now that Ivan's uh, pummeled my uh, spinal cord into one, into one line. And what's your message for Ivan? message for Ivan is, Ivan, Team Riches, anyone else who's still alive out there, I'm going to come for you and I'm going to kill you. But good? Yeah, and no one died. It was alright. Oh, the weakest Canadian. Yeah. The Freddie, Freddie Mercury wanna be. If I get my hands on him next time, believe me, he will want to break free. Well I can still walk and I can feel this hand, so it's gone well. I thought I was gonna I thought Rich would be carrying me out at the end in a wheelchair going, Greg's, I need Greg's. And do you think you can be a comedian? Um I uh, uh, probably not as good as those guys. But uh, I think I'm better in the uh, in the beating out comedians department. Listen, wrestling has not been to Edinburgh since 1979, mm. and I think you can see tonight that there's a big demand for it. Probably not to come back for another 30 years. No, I think tonight people are going, why haven't we had wrestling before with yeah. comics? It's over, and as far as we know, everyone is still alive. What we've witnessed today is one of the most exciting and shocking scenes of the Fringe this year, and I think one message we can take from this is that decency always prevails. This is Luke from Pleasant TV.